Yanni Damen, welcome to Sportify headquarters. Uh, one of the most experienced ski jumpers in the World Cup momentarily. You're also this season a winner of the World Cup event in Kuzamo. Tell me your advice to young talents, especially in, of course, in your in your sport. I think that all the young talents in all sports should think the same. So at first, sport sport should be fun. They shouldn't set too high goals at the beginning. They shouldn't think of. They should dream big, but enjoy it. every time they go to training, every time they jump, kick a football, uh, jump over a hurdle, I don't know, dive over into the water, swim, whatever, run. Uh, it has to be fun. That's the most important thing of sport. It, it should be fun till the end. And maybe with hard work, even if you don't enjoy what you're doing at the moment, you can achieve results. But at the end, on the top high level, you have to have fun. Otherwise, you won't achieve that level. I'm sure. <laughs> okay, but beside the fun, also by the, by the beginning of your career, there are also many other challenges. Especially if you maybe focus a little bit on your uh, financial point of view. In there, but this is hard to speak about like all sports are the same because sports are different. In some sports, there is uh, not a lot of money needed in the beginning. For example, in football, you just need a ball and pair of uh, shoes or even those are not totally needed in other sports like I don't know the most expensive sports are golf tennis skiing um, then it's hard I'm maybe lucky in this part because ski jumping is not so expensive at the beginning okay. and uh, also in Slovenia is ski jumping is quite well supported but still it would be nice to have some additional support in start because I know that a lot of families can't even afford the smallest things so they can um, get their young ones to do what they like. So I think that Sportify is a great solution to this problem and uh, should be con highly considered in every sport. But personally, in your case, you in started case, in Ljubljana as a teenager. Yeah, in, I started this, a long time you know, ago. So yes. I think that the world was a bit different then. The money problems were not so visible. We were still in the system uh, of so socialism, socialism. Yes. Yes. Socialism. It was still a big influence in Slovenia. I know that our club had no problems. We were always eating lunch after training. We had all the equipment. I think we didn't have to pay at all at the beginning. Now the story is different because this money bubble blew up and now youngsters have to, okay, parents have to be, uh, do a lot more financial support for their children to start. But for me, it wasn't a problem. So, meaning, if I understand where your words, you support the project of Sportify. Absolutely. Where you all, the, the, <laughs> Absolutely. the project with raising funds for young talented athletes. Now more than ever, because the world is even more decentralized as be every day more than before and uh, there's a lot of money flowing around that should be in good hands and if people see a good athlete i think it's a, not only a good investment but a good gesture because it's basically i wouldn't say charity but close to that because you can uh, do something that can make somebody else do something that he likes. It's not survival, but it's a really, really good gesture. And I myself would definitely do the same for a young athlete that I would really think would, uh, you know, I had to know the, guy, the person that he loves sport and I would immediately support him on this level, definitely. Because it's, it's good that now this is even possible. Before, it was not. Perfect. Yeah, Damian, thank you very much and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much.